Alright, so Aries, we're going to have a look and see what's going to come up for you. And now keep in mind that this will not resonate for every single Aries. Okay, general reading will not resonate for all of you. Put that in your mind. Okay. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading, that's going to be the first link in the description down below. Click on that and boom, you get your reading. It's that easy. You click on it, Aries, and you get your reading. Let me read that again. Click on it. And you get your reading, okay? First link in the description down below. Another thing you do is we also have a website, you know, where there's gems, there's crystals, there's shirts, there's jewelry, and so on. Okay, we're going to have our own cards on there pretty soon, like the cards that I made. You understand? Um, that's also in the description down below. And if you like donate to the channel, feel free to do so, okay? Aries, look at this. It feels like you are in a positive energy. Okay, you're in a positive vibe. Okay, it feels like it's raising here, it's rising, like that. You're raising to a different vibration of just, you know, positivity, okay? You're moving up here, Aries. I see some of you actually physically moving somewhere. Like, you, you're moving to a different location, okay? I see a lot of travel. I just see your life being really good, Aries. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles wanting to come up. Queen of Pentacles is a queen of money. Okay, whether you have earth placements or not, because that can represent earth sign, doesn't matter. It feels like you're going to be the queen of pentacles or the king of pentacles, depending on who you are. So that's like money moving up for you. Alright, which makes sense if you're going to be doing all this stuff in your life. So let's see. Another thing, Aries, it's like you're appearing as attractive to a lot of different people. You're attracting a lot of different... You know, <laughs> okay, yes, Aries. <laughs> you, all right, while you're doing things for your life here, you're building yourself up, you're making your decisions, okay, for your life, right? You have someone here sitting with a lot of emotions here, about to take action towards you, Aries. Very deep emotions. It can be a water sign or another fire sign like yourself, some of the water and fire placements. Splitting the deck, we have the Queen of Cups, which is water, with the King of Wands here. Okay. 1221. Ace. Mm-hmm. There's that travel card. Yeah, there's what I see for you. Okay. We have the Ace of Cups. Alright. We have the Star. Which is Aquarius, but that's not the main part here. The star is an overall positive card, Aries. Okay. We have the Queen of Swords. Which is air. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Strength card. Which is Leo. We have the chariot, which is cancer. But the chariot does represent travels. Okay. We have the two of pentacles. Seven of pentacles. We have the queen of pentacles, which is earth. Once again, that queen's coming up. We have the five of wands. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Two of Swords. <laughs> I'm just messing around here. <laughs> we have the Ten of Wands. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles with the Two of Wands. I see you kind of questioning this, Aries, but I do definitely see a move happening for you. I see you getting, like, the house of your dreams. Okay, the house that you're wanting, the type of house, right? That nice, 
you know, whatever is your dream home, I see you getting that, Aries. I see you going to a new location, okay? It feels like, you know, traveling somewhere and you getting that. What, you're, what you've what you been dreaming of, I see you getting that, okay? I see you having the money to do that. But I see you still kind of questioning whether or not that's the right move. Do it, Aries. It's being presented there for a reason. Like, get that, get that house, okay? Go to those places you want to go to, right? So, that is what I see for you. Okay. Like I said, you got a person here as well. Who's heavily interested in you. Water or fire? We also... Yes, water or fire. That's what I mainly feel. You might be traveling with them at some point in the future. Or traveling to them. Depending on what's happening here. Okay, let's have a look at messages and advice for you here, Aries. We have a bunch of cards wanting to come up. We're only going to take one because it's way too many that fell out for you. We have like six. We have be at peace. Okay, Aries, so it feels like you're going to be more at peace here at this new location, right? You're just going to feel right at home because it is your home. Okay? Let's just put those over there. We have be at peace. I feel the subtle tensions that you hold within. What do you need? What do you need so you can relax? Imagine it has now been granted. There is no need to worry. Trust in me. Okay, so look at this. What's ever worrying here, here, if you are worrying about something, that's going to be resolved. Imagine it has already resolved. Okay, because that's how you, you manifest that res uh, resolution into your life. Okay. Number six, be led by the path before you, okay? Hold this card up so you can see. You may wonder if you are on the right path. You may have a choice to make and are uncertain as to which decision will be the right one for you. I scatter petals to scent the wind and blessings to reveal the way. Through, though at times you may fear that you have been led astray, trust in the unfolding, trust in your unfolding life journey. For the path before you is one that I have blessed. Okay, look at this, Aries. You are on the right path here. Okay. Spiritually, we we can sometimes make most project projects progress when physically there appears to be the least happening. When the divinity of our path is hidden under ordinary day-to-day -day hard work and not quite feeling like you are there yet, sometimes we are building our spiritual muscles: faith, courage, de trust, determination, commitment, patience, and serenity. Don't make things more complicated than they need to be. Don't rush in. And out of fear or panic to try and sort out an issue be patient and allow it to unfold the universe knows what you are in need of and the divine mother is guiding you daily towards fulfillment like this you're being guided towards the right path here i feel like this is the right path for you aries okay try not to worry about it okay We have number 10, Empress of the Pearl. You have an inner gift of great value, born of struggle, adversity, and challenge. In wisdom, you know that suffering can lead to growth. Provided we are willing to search for a way to heal through it. Seeing challenges as ways to expand your spiritual light empowers you to focus on the growing light rather than getting caught up in suffering. Okay, Aries, look at this. You are, you know, you learn from your struggles. You have learned from your struggles, okay? From challenges. You don't see them as like, oh, this is bad. You know, why is this happening? You see them as this is like an opportunity for me to grow and learn. Okay? Feels like that's what you've been doing. Now, prayer... 
With beloved Kuan Yin, Empress of the Pearl, as my witness, I transform negativity into light through compassion. Anything that causes discomfort, I use to grow my light. So it becomes bigger than the, dis than the discomfort, and I now choose to experience the light, the light of my being and its spiritual growth as more powerful than my irritation or suffering, which that serves growth. Okay, so Aries, that is all I have for you. And like I said, first link in the description down below. Go ahead and click on that. You get your reading. And if you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.